So alrighty, today what we are going to do is we are going to unbox the Tech Life Jump Starter. Now, uh, according to the picture, this looks like it also supports USB-C and a USB port to charge your mobile device. And this thing actually looks pretty cool. So we are going to unbox this and see what this is. Now, uh... Ooh, it comes in a case. And there we go. This is... Now, this thing is actually extremely cool and very necessary to have, especially if you live in uh, an area to where it gets really cold. You know, where your battery starts to die and you're in the middle of the road of a, and it's cold outside and you have jumper cables, but you don't have something else to... Uh, you don't have another battery to jumpstart your car with. Now, this is an awesome device. To, ooh, look how small that is. That is small. Oh, sorry, there's a finger port right there. Look at the size of that. It's the size of my hand. It is approximately... It's uh, an inch and a quarter thick. And this is seven, uh, six and three quarters inch long. Now this is awesome. Now this is a jump starter slash there's a flashlight. How do you activate the flashlight? Oh, you hold down the power button for the flashlight. A strobe light. And there you go. Now, let's see if this will charge my device. Now, there are two. Uh, both of the USBs are, are out. One is a, a four volt night, sorry, a five volt, nine volt, and twelve volt. The other one is a five volt with a uh, uh, two point one amps. Now let's see if these will charge my device. That one does. Alrighty, so we're gonna go to the other one. Again, really firm. They they go in there really firmly as well. Yep, they both do charge your device. That's awesome. And like I said, there is a USB. There's a USB C port in there in case you don't have the standard USB. So that is awesome. That really is awesome. It does charge up your mobile device. Also comes with the jumper cables. And the jumper cables go in here. Just like that. And there you go. This is ready to jump your car. Which, uh, uh, fortunately right now, my car does not need, the battery does not need tending to. So we we can't actually test that out because I my battery is just fine. Does it, but that does not mean that this is useless. Uh, it comes with a USB-C, uh, yeah, it comes with a USB-C to, uh, regular USB and it comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable which I think that's actually awesome that actually really is awesome that it comes with that and of course wall to charger USB-C so pretty much you could charge up uh, you could charge up multiple devices that has the USB-C to it there you go which is uh, that's this this is actually awesome now I'm gonna tell I will tell you this though, when it comes to the the uh, the use of this, this is extremely useful if you have uh, recreational uh, vehicles such as wave runners, four by fours, a boat, uh, and uh, you know it's or anything that requires you to that you might need a jump start. This is seriously seriously useful now this costs eighty one dollars and and yes this is model number kp120 king power 12 volt 1200 amps peak current made by tack life of course and this thing this thing is seriously awesome it's it's small it's small my jumper cables are like four times bigger than this this is and seriously like this is seriously an excellent idea 
and good tool to have you know, for an emergency situation that could randomly occur. So it comes in a, it looks like it's a, a nicely insulated case. You know, you just you keep this in your car. Your battery uh, is faulty on your car and you have issues with it. This will take care of that and a lot more other stuff. You know, you can charge your phone with it, you know, and it, you'll always have uh, a power source that is there. Now, I do have the, the Ryobi power source, and it, this one has a plug. This one has a plug, but everyone was hoping that Ryobi would come out with uh, jumper cables with it, which they did not. And so, with... The, with the tack life uh this us this power station is actually an extremely good thing to have like seriously like you just get you don't need a special uh place to put this because it's so small in size just connect that to the batteries then you're then you're good to go now the, there are so many benefits that you get if you if you have this uh have this tool so the instructions say on the back do not start a vehicle if the less than three lights are lit when uh, you check the uh, capacity of the unit. This will ensure that the sufficient power to the vehicle and would not damage the unit. If the engine cannot be started within three seconds, stop cranking and wait at, uh, at least 30 seconds before attempting to start the vehicle again. Never use the jump start point uh, for any other uses than jump starting, which that's this. That's that. But you could use these, but uh, use this one only to jump. Use this one only to jump start. Uh, do not use clamps to do not connect clamps together. Which yeah, because you, you don't even want to do that with a car battery because that's just bad. You get major sparks. Uh, keep away from children. This is not a toy, and that is definitely not since it's a battery. And so yeah, this thing is awesome. This thing is seriously, seriously awesome. So let's let's see what happens if we try to charge this. So I am curious. It says it's out, 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 cable. It says it's also out. We're gonna figure out how to charge this really quick. Turn that on, there we go. All right, so this, this unit, as a 12 to 15 DC port, uh, LED light, super uh, long standby time, so you could charge it and it'll uh, re hold a charge for a really long time. Uh, easy storage because the size and it's uh, approximately 1.6 pounds. Uh, fast charging both ways, so you could use the USB C to charge it or the 5 volt, 9 volt, and 12 volt USB port to charge it. It takes approximately three hours to charge uh, from a dead battery, which it's not. Uh, I have three bars remaining, so it'll probably take like about 45 minutes. Uh, operating temperature is negative four degrees to 140 degrees, and storage could be uh, negative four degrees to 120 degrees. So, so yeah. So if you leave this out and on the cold by itself. That's bad. So it being in a car, which are, well, that's where it would be, it'll uh, keep it uh, warmer. Yeah. So try not to just like any battery out there, even your uh, uh, like ba your tool batteries. You don't leave them outside in like negative ten degree weather. It's just bad for it's just bad for it. And so, like I said, this is model number KP one two zero. And yes, th this device is awesome. I uh. I, I thank Tech Life so much for sending me this. Uh, this is going to be extreme of to me. This is going to be extremely helpful for what uh, on the boat because that's the one of the worst case scenarios is to be out on the middle of the lake 
and you're listening to the radio, you know, and you, you lose track of time, and then all of a sudden your battery is dead, and then you're stuck in the middle of the lake with no with with a dead battery. This would take me out of that situation and just uh, let me jump do a quick jump on the on the boat without needing to be jumped by another boat or be towed to uh, to the dock. And which the towing, if uh, someone's not around to help you out with that, towing fees are expensive and would cost a lot more than this charger, uh, this uh, jar, jump starter slash charger alone would be. So this is $81. You can get this on Amazon. Uh, and if you're included, if you're a part of Amazon Prime like I am, I watch Amazon Prime all the time. Uh, free shipping if you're a part of Amazon Prime. So like this thing is, it's a nice little device. I didn't know that they made, uh, I didn't even know that uh, jump starters were made this small. But Tack Life makes them. Tack Life makes them this small. This thing is, this thing really is awesome and it's uh, very, very portable. Because I thought the ones that, uh, uh, the main jump starter were like, like a, a rectangle, like, like this big, you know, like, and then it's like about a, a foot tall. And so th those are the only jump starters that I was exposed to, but here we go. Look at how small that thing is. Seriously. It, it's like, it's a little bit bigger than, uh, than my phone. And of course it is a lot thicker than the phone, but this thing is awesome. You can actually hold, keep this in your purse if you wanted to, and so yes, this thing will become use uh, will be extremely useful uh, coming spring, summer, and fall. And so yes, and of course I'll have this uh, in the car just in case if my car battery dies, I'll be able to jumpstart it without needing assistance by anyone. You know, waiting on the side of the road, flagging someone down, you know, and so I could ha handle the situation myself. So that alone. Uh, I'll be safer. Ha that alone is worth this unit by itself. So that's uh, the, the unboxing and specs and uh, showing what this kit comes with. And remember, it comes with a case. Eighty-one dollars on Amazon Prime. I'll put the link in the description below for this. This thing is awesome. They do make other models that are cheaper. And so, yes, yeah, so to me, this kit is going to become extremely useful because of the situations that I put myself in. That include batteries, and I'd rather not be dead in the water in the middle of a lake, and and so forth. So if you have a wave runner, then you you need a jump start. You can do it yourself. Uh, you know, same thing if you're on a fishing trip and you're uh, you're using your uh, navigation system and you're using your fish finder and your battery just so happens to die, you're covered. So. That's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.